Hi, welcome and thanks for tuning in. I'm Hannah and this time I show you how to draw a portrait of Galadriel in graphite. You will find the list of supplies I used in the description below. The first thing I do is to draw sort of a road map to work from. This means that I at first build up the major areas by establishing the darkest and lightest tones with light shading. From this point on, I refine these steps by putting down more and more details and shading. For these steps I like to use a lighter pencil like an HB with as little pressure as possible, because the more pressure you use, the more likely it is that you will not be able to erase the pencil completely or you polish the graphite and create a ton of shine. If you are intimidated by a flood of details and struggle to find a good point to start from, free your mind and try to see only shapes and forms. It might also be helpful for your first layers to blur out your reference photo and then pick a small section from where you started drawing. With this you can get rid of confusing details and concentrate only on the main shapes. I use graphite powder and my trusty makeup brushes for the soft shadings in the face and the bigger areas. With powder graphite you minimize the risk of creating marks on the paper that you might not be able to change later on. Here I start shading the background, so that I can establish the overexposed outlines of her face and it also helps to judge the contrast in the face itself. When my brush is too big, I like to use this long applicator tools from Soft Tools. I know they are actually meant for pen pastels, but I prefer them for my charcoal and graphite projects. This little sponge has a nice tip, with that you can work pretty precise and get close to the edge and all the nooks and crannies. To achieve harder edges, I like to use a mechanical pencil with a medium lead like a 2B. I find them more precise than a normal pencil. And bit by bit I establish my lights and darks in the drawing. By darkening here a bit and maybe lighten up there a bit, 
and always working towards the balance of the whole portrait. For my darkest areas, I use these new matte graphite pencils from Faber Castell. They go up to a 14B and that's the darkest one I've found till today. And they really hardly produce any shine, that's a big bonus. So that's all for part one. Hope you liked it and I will see you soon for part two. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I would really love to know what you think. See you soon. Bye.